Hi, my name is Robbie, and I'm today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to flash your co runner for the Rev C or the Xenon. Now, the Xenon OG is very unreliable, and I'll put a link in the description below where you can view the um, thread from Team Executor themselves. Okay, so first we're going to go through what you need. Well, first, you do need a mini USB cable, um, and you do need to plug it into your computer to access. Now, I don't really know where you can get these except for Target and Walmart, but I found some laying around the house, so don't forget to check out that out first. Um, you do need to connect your cool runner, so you do need to get a NAND extra cool runner cable, but I'm just using some cool runner cable that came with my Super NAND flasher, and that's what this is as well. Now, you're going to plug it in to your computer. Mine's plugged in right here. And... If it doesn't say Nandex here, that's okay. It doesn't because it doesn't know how to install drivers properly into my computer. It's stupid. And sometimes it says unreadable device over here for the drivers and stuff. And it's it just doesn't work sometimes. But normally it doesn't work. But I get lucky. So so let's start off by click. Well, first you do need to click if it's on retail already. You do need to click RGH glitch. RGH2 glitch or RGH. And then you're going to go to program cool runner. And then if you click RGH2, you can do any of the following here. And they say whatever works best. I did C, but I'm going to try and do the Xenon. So we're going to go to RGH, program cool runner, Xenon, and hit program cool runner. And of course, if you haven't heard that, I'll put it up to the mic. And of course, that's how you would do it. Let's see if you can hear this. Let's turn up the volume or something. Okay. Now let's try it. If you hear that, and make sure that Nandex appears here, or whatever kind of reading the NAND system you have. But what I did... As I went to RGH2, I didn't select this, and I hit Program Cool Runner. But see, that's already open, so, and then I hit Rev C. But they say whatever works best. Just don't do any of these. I don't even know what that is. I think this is RGH, or DGX to RGHX conversion, so. Um, you select RGH2, hit Program Cool Runner. It will do that um, sound, and then you're pretty good to go, and it's, it, make sure it says here, otherwise it'll say, device not found, so. But, there is a Xenon RGH, as you can see here, Xenon, Xenon dot, dot XFCXF, wait, XSVF, it's a type of file, but. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description for um, the drivers, I think, for the Super Neon Flasher. And then, there's my code runner. And I'll also put my website in the description as well. And um, I'm also currently creating a Facebook page for anyone who wants free lobbies. Thanks guys for watching. This is also proof for Brandon, Ryan, and Jared. Thanks guys for watching. Peace.